Hello, today I'm going to review the Sony TAF450D amplifier. You can read it right here, yes. And the D stands for DAC, Digital Converter. Earlier I reviewed the Sony TAF630ESD. Yes, the ES for special products, yes, and the same D for digital converter. And that Sony sounded terrific. Just go to my playlist, yes, and there you see Sony, and there you will see that Sony amp if you are interested. I, I really love that sound. I well I love all Sony ES amplifiers I reviewed earlier, yes, and uh, they all sounded nice. And well, I picked this thing up. I picked this thing up uh, uh, two nights ago in Eindhoven. I drove 115 kilometers. I also bought a, uh, a, 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 a turntable, a, uh, a CD player, and a cassette deck. And uh, well, it was not a great score, you know. I don't think uh, I can get my money back once I have to resell everything. Yes, because I calculated for this amp that I, well, because it was missing a knob, as you can see here, yes. And then I thought, well, the 450D is not a very big amp, yes, not a special amp, not an ES amp. And then I calculated it and I thought, well, maybe I will, because it was a, a long road, yes. I thought, well, maybe I lose some money when I sell everything, you know, but okay. Um, I bought it, I bought it, and I placed this thing tonight. I didn't, I didn't have uh, the idea to review it, yes. My first thought was, well, I reviewed the turntable, and that's it, yes. And I placed this thing on, on Dutch eBay for 30 euro, yes. I thought because one of the knobs was missing, yes, and because, well, the thing isn't only 8.1 kilo, yes. I think it have a big power. It have a big power from 2110 watt, yes. But yeah, that's everything. And the Sony 630 ESD, that thing weighed 13.8 kilo, so 50% more weight. Yes, and also the 630 ESD is an expensive amp. Well, expensive. You can find them, I think, for around 125, 150 euro, yes. And uh, so I thought, well, this thing is worth normally not more as 70 euros, you know, because it is not an ES, yes, and it is a, it have a knob missing. So that's why I place it for only 30 euros on the market. And then I noticed that in no time I had this 30 euro. You know, uh, somebody wants to pick it up for 30 years or so. I think, okay, sold. And 30 minutes later I had 35 euro. So I think, okay, maybe I calculated this thing too cheap, yes. And But I already promised the other guy that I'm going to sell. He's going to pick it up tomorrow. I'm going to sell this thing for him for 30 euro. And... Uh, well, maybe it's worth 35, maybe 40, maybe 45, I'm not sure, you know, so uh, I had to leave, left it longer, but I was happy with the 30 euro because, yes, the thing have missed a knob, you know, and, but the nice thing of this thing is that this knob, yes, this selector switch also fit in here, so if you need to, to change this or to use this knob, you can just use the same, you know, the same knob from this thing. So in, in, in fact, it doesn't matter only for the looks. It is not nice to see that one knob is missing. Yeah, it all depends where you use the thing. I would never use this thing if it was mine in my living room because the thing is just ugly with the knob, the knob missing. But maybe, maybe you can find this knob somewhere. Yes. And uh, okay, then I was curious. I was curious. I thought, why? Well, not really curious because I thought, okay, these guys buy this, want to, to have this thing because of the duck, you know. Every amplifier, and especially 
an amplifier with a Burr, this, this one has two types, a Burr Brown PCM58P uh, converter in it, so, or ducts, yes, it has two ducts, the two types, two, two ducts, the PCM58P inside, and maybe that's the reason, because most amplifiers, reasonable good amplifiers with a built-in duct are very popular, yes, if this thing, didn't have a DAC or, or, or a uh, digital converter, yes, then it was not that popular, then probably I would not have the 30 euros. So I miscalculated it, I forgot that uh, amplifiers with a DAC are more interesting. It was a long time ago I sold a or had a amplifier with a built in DAC. And uh, then I thought, okay, let's open the thing. Let's open the thing to see what's inside. And then I see, wow, the thing is special because the 630 ESD didn't have a toroidal uh, travel. It just had that, that square travel. And I always prefer these, these toroidal travels. But as you can see, it only has two of these filter caps and the... Uh, the 630 ESD had four of them, yes, and uh, well, probably uh, also the sound is uh, is different. But I will, well, we will uh, discover that together with me because I just hook it up to see if it's worked. But I didn't test the sound yet, so I will see how this thing sounds. And uh, the back side, the back side is looking like this. The back side. I hope I have enough light. Yes, I can show you how the back. It has, uh, of course, connection for two pairs of speakers. Yes, I don't see a 110 volt to 220 volt switch. So the thing is only made for Europe. It has, of course, this phono connection. Yeah, and. Uh, this optical in yes because it is a duck yes and from the front we go back to the front you can see that uh, that it have you can choose between the mm or mc elements yes this is of course the uh, well let me turn on the thing so you have a better view yeah. there it is of course, that you see, digital direct, a digital analog input, yes, subsonic, loudness, a record out selector, a input selector, as well a digital input selector, and of course your bass and treble, tone in, tone out, balance, and your speaker selector, yes, this is what it has, very simple layout, very simple, but I thought, okay, probably uh, this thing sounds good, because, and I, and I thought, I, I read on the net, I think, 8.1 kilo, 2 times 110 watt, that's not possible, but it is possible, because as you can read here, the two filter caps are 10,000 microfarad, and that's big, they look small, but they are big, 10,000 microfarads, so it is possible this thing delivers 2 times 110 watt. And uh, well, I thought, okay, um, later I, I, I regret selling it for only 30 euros because I thought, well, my daughter, <laughs> my daughter always need a, uh, always come to my house and they say, yeah, do you have something, we have a party and do you have something, uh, an amplifier and speakers and uh, uh, normally I give this uh, smaller amp, but I think this 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 amp is better built for uh, for parties, 2110 watt, you know, and it is cheap, so if the thing breaks because it is overheated, it doesn't matter, it's a cheap thing, you know. And well, this is this is how it is looking from the inside. Well, let me let me place the uh, the cam in front, so you can see it, the complete thing. Yes, and uh, I'm not sure 
what to think from this layout. Well, this amplifier is from 1989, so it is one year younger than the 630 ESD. Yes, and uh, oh, this is how it's looking. This is how it is looking inside. I'm not sure what this. Probably this is the duck. This is the burr brown duck here. I think so. One of these. These two, I think. Not sure. I cannot read it. But uh, well, this is how it is looking from the inside. And uh, I'll leave it open. But when I'm reviewing it, I leave the thing open. Yes, I have it open anyway. So I just wanted to show you that it. It is not cheap. It, this thing was 800 German mark when new, so that is expensive, yes. Probably because of the uh, of the duck, yes. And uh, also the Toyota uh, uh, travel is special and uh, the power is special, yeah, big power. So maybe that's why it was 800 German mark back in 89. But what about the sounds? So I thought, okay, let's, let's test the thing out, yes, and uh, well, I have some music here, let me see. I listen to this, listen to this sound from my, uh, from my MP3 player, okay? So I have everything on neutral, yes, because I heard a very thin sound, uh, I missed some bass, yes, when I compared with my Akai and also the other, I still have that Sony 630 ESD in my head, it sounds thin in comparison, but uh, I have everything on neutral, so bass is in, let me see, let me check it out, yes, bass is in the middle, everything is in the middle, no loudness on. Okay, this is how it sounds. And I'm playing over my uh, my Canton Ergo speakers, my Canton Ergo RCL speakers, yes, so this is what you hear.
I believe Phil Collins will have a final uh, in, in, in London, in London, England, final concert, yes, soon. So if you are a fan from Phil Collins, just check it out, yes. The sound is terrible, the sound is terrible and I'm going to see if I can find another... Uh... I would only be in your way and I... Well, the same bad sound. doesn't sound good at all. I thought it was uh, well, 800 German mark, you know. I saw these two big caps inside, yes, 2 times 110 watt. Uh, detail converter, yes, Toronto uh, travel. And uh, it is a Sony, of course, it is not a Sony ES, but it is a Sony. And to be honest, I don't think that the 30 euro ask was too much. I think it's the right price. And I think if you are looking for a nice sounding Sony amplifier, just forget this amplifier because it just sounds thin. It is a very thin sounding amplifier. Of course, not everybody has the money to invest in a ES amplifier, but those ES amplifiers are so much better sounding. Yes, and if I compare it with my Akai over there, yes, over there, this thing is really sounding terrible. And, um, no, this thing is just a, it's not a good amplifier. Yeah, let, let's, don't buy it, don't buy it, don't. If you don't have enough money, there are plenty other amplifiers out there. Yes, vintage amplifiers, 
what sounded much better, much deeper than this thing because this thing really doesn't sound nice and I'm glad, I'm glad because I wanted to to uh, over there you see the uh, the cassette deck, I also scored that together with this amp and the CD player I also wanted to uh, to to, uh, to use this amplifier for that test but yeah then also the cassette deck and the CD player will sound bad so I have to uh, take another amplifier yes to make those tests because this amplifier is a bad sounding amplifier yes it is it is, it is a, first of all I don't like those black ES amplifiers yes so and this is this isn't even a ES so it is ugly and it is bad sounding yes a ES is ugly but it is a black ES yes but it is a good sounding amplifier very good sounding amplifier and this isn't even sounding good so stay away from this uh, this uh, TAF 450D that's my conclusion yes and if you think different if you own a amplifier like this well <laughs> just try AES because if you think this thing is sounds good yes if, if you own it and you just think well I'm talking bullshit yes just try just try AES a Sony ES then you heard different, then you heard a, a beautiful sound. Not the best sound, but much better than this Sony TAF450D. Well, this was my video, my test. Yes, a surprisingly test because I thought this thing would sound great, or not great, but good, you know. And uh, it is a little bit disappointing that I heard this tinny. Uh, not not a nice sound at all, you know, uh, just a cheap sound, and that from a Sony, yes. Well, this was my review. Thanks for watching. If you like the review, put your thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe on my channel, yes. And for now, I say bye bye.